On Italy's Amalfi Coast, there is a food farmed nowhere else on Earth. Caring for it requires fearlessness, breathtaking agility, and a deep connection to the land. This is a young man's trade, but it's done almost entirely by old men. And I've come here to meet one of the greats. Sono Luigi Aceto, ma mi chiamano Gigino il Limoncello. Gigino just turned 83. He's spent his whole life tending a very special kind of lemon here on the hillsides of Amalfi. Sono stato concepito sotto una pianta di limone. Ce l'ho nel cuore, nelle vene, il sugo di, di limone al posto del sangue. A questa età ancora lavoro e ho salute. Gigino and his son Salvatore have invited me to harvest the fabled Amalfi Coast lemon, Sfusato Amalfitano, a variety that's celebrated for its sweetness and aroma. But first, Café. Salute. With a twist of lemon. Grazie. Of course. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> I'm ready to go now. <laughs> Let's go. Now you're ready. The name sfusato comes from the lemon's tapered end, like a spindle or fuso in Italian. This is spettacolo. This is sfusato the original. Only a sfusato grown along the 20-mile coastal strip between Vietri and Positano can legally be sold as Amalfi Coast lemons. This is the preferred habitat of the sfusato amalfitano, and attempts to commercially grow it outside of Italy have failed. Il sole, i raggi di sole, penetrano sotto le radici della pianta di limone, e la pianta di limone è come una creatura nella culla, mare, monti, le correnti attraverso queste vallate si miscelano tra loro e contribuiscono a creare un microclima unico al mondo. Gigino often works in the most precarious place possible atop the mountainside pergolas that support the trees. This breathtaking aerial act has earned Gigino and his cohorts a nickname, the Flying Farmers. It's easy to drive along the coast and think the cascading lemon terraces are entirely ornamental. They're just postcard perfect. But that's what this coast does to people. It gives us delusions of grandeur, that all of this is here purely to fulfill our fantasy of paradise. But in reality, the lemons play a vital role, not only in the livelihood of farmers like Gigino, but in the very survival of the Amalfi Coast, literally the survival. The roots of these trees are anchoring the soil to this sheer coastline. Now, the farmers are aging, and there's not exactly a line of people clamoring to take up this work. As more farms have been abandoned, the mudslides have increased. There's nothing to fear if you try. Gigino's farmland includes an ancient terraced grove that overlooks the heart of Amalfi and the sea. Up here feels worlds away, but it's startlingly close to the bustling street life below, where you can hear children playing as Gigino works. It's terrifying to think of what would happen if these terraces crumbled. We have problems for the global world. Imagine our uh, ancestors, they make it this for a thousand years. Now if, now if we don't keep, if we don't take a care, if we don't have and right maintenance, we can have problems down in the city. We don't create a disaster just for our family balance, but we create a disaster for collectivity, for our country people. E soprattutto la pianta di limone è come una protettrice di questo territorio. Perché se no sarebbe senza le, senza i limoneti
sarebbe una catastrofe a mare. Sono commosso, non... al pensiero mi deprime la cosa. It was only recently that Gigino's eldest son, Sal, quit his cushy accounting job to become his father's apprentice. He knew that if he didn't act now, then a legacy of over two centuries and five generations would die with him. He teaches me day by day, and I am learning. It's difficult, because it's difficult to uh, learn uh, 80 years <laughs> of experience. Gigino tends two seasons worth of lemons at the same time, the ones he'll harvest this year from February to September, and the babies that will be next year's crop. Gigino's lemons are organic, not because he's trying to conform to any modern day standard, but rather the opposite, because he's farming the way his family has farmed for generations. The spring is such a special time to be here. The trees are uncloaked from the netting that protects the fruit against wind and hail. The trees bloom, perfuming the air and luring bees to pollinate. The achetos keep their own hives and harvest the honey too. The fertilized flowers grow into fruit, which start off as green as limes. A third of Gigino's lemons are used to make limoncello in their own small factory. The rest go to ice cream and other limoncello factories, and a few to fresh market. Posso provare? Sì. All right. These are these are real deal shearers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, we want, we want leaves on these. The branches and the leaves also indicate that it's really fresh, that it's coming straight from the farm. I, I've got this one. No, no. Non è per te. <laughs> it's not for I'll me. Try. He'll do it. I can get this one though. Uh, it's heavy enough. I've seen a lot of tough farm work, but I really can't think of a more challenging terrain than this. Heavy loads have to be hauled up and down narrow craggy steps from terrace to terrace to terrace. But Gigino also claims a unique advantage. He's got one of the most technologically advanced hauling systems on the coast. I'm serious, this little cable car. Cable car aside, watching Gigino farm is stepping back in time 200 years. He crafts each pergola himself from the chestnut trees in his forest. And then he uses pliable willow branches to tie the pergolas to the limbs of the lemon trees to lift them up to the sun, which sweetens the fruit. Preparing the willow ties is an ancient practice. Watching him do this fills me with a deep sense of privilege. It's like I'm seeing a tradition so fragile that if I blink, it may cease to exist. Ho oh, la quinta elementare alle scuole d'obbligo, l'università della vita. Tutti i giorni ho imparato, anche oggi sto imparando lezioni. It's Sunday, and three generations of Achetos have gathered under the pergolas for lunch. There's pasta, sausages and flank steak, and of course, lemon cake. You know, in its heyday, Amalfi was an incredibly powerful maritime republic and a gateway to the continent for Arab traders. They're the ones who first brought citrus to this coast in the 10th century. Ever since, wealthy visitors from near and far have volleyed for the keys to this kingdom, most of the aristocrats that lorded over this land are long gone, but the local people they hired to care for these orchards, their lineage remains. And for now, for as long as the roots of their trees can hold this place together, this land belongs to them. My heart's open wide. We Fear if you try 
Chetos is over, but our adventure is just getting started. I'm heading to nearby Naples to discover how lemons have inspired Italian cooking. Join me to learn from this dashing lad Ciao. <laughs> a delicious lemony pasta that's so easy you can master it at home. So stay tuned for part two of our Southern Italy special.